guys welcome back so we're carrying on with normal distribution today um, <clears throat> in the last lesson we dealt with normal distribution when the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one unfortunately that's not most of the time the situation so generally we have means and standard deviations of different amounts so what that does is it just changes the look of the picture so we might have something that says the mean is 20 the standard deviation is 4 and it's applied to something <coughs> and we want to know the probability of getting between 15 and 22. So it's really important that you do it in this way. You draw the picture, all right? Make sure you put the mean in at 20, 4, so 4, 4, 4, so that's 16, 12, 8, 4, 4, 4, 24, 28, 32. All right. So when you're looking at what you're finding, you've got 22 just past the mean, because that's 24, down to 15 at 16, so it's just past there. All right. So 16, 12, 24, 28, 32, 24, 24, 28, and hold it in. Now it's really important that you draw the picture guys, it's part of what we do when we do normal distribution, it gives us an idea of what our answer should be. So we're looking here at probably quite close to 50% of the data, just past here, just past there, probably quite close to, I'm, I'm going to guess about 45, 0.45, let's see how close I am. So how do we go about putting this in? Well it's exactly the same place we put our other one in, alright? So we need to find the lower value, the upper value, and it's important you write these down. The standard deviation goes next, and then the mean. So make sure you write it in the right order. So we've got the lower is 15, upper is 22, standard deviation is 4, mean is 20. All right, so if we now multiply and um, put those in our calculator, so we grab our calculator into that same place, so um, menu 2 for standard for statistics, distributions F6, and then normal F1, and then CD, and then variable, and we get to that same. So we need to put in the lower value, which is 15. Sorry about my computer going clink, clink. Lots of things coming through at the moment. Um, so we got the lower value of 15, the upper value of 22, the mean uh, standard deviation of 4 and the mean of 20 and push EXE twice. 0.5858. Well, I smiled off, but that's okay. 5858. Remember that we want four decimal places. Okay? So, what we need to remember is that um, if we're doing a less than, so a probability of X being less than 21, all right? This now means a lower value is way down over here somewhere. So when we do this, we just get into the practice of putting a big lower number in, like 10,000 and negative 10,000. So upper will be 21, standard deviation will be 4, and the mean will be 20. All right, so we stick that in. If you just exit out, the mean and the standard deviation won't have changed. So you can just put them all in and 21.5987. All right, so if we had looked at our picture, which we should have drawn a picture, and that's naughty of me, 20, 21 is just passed. So we're having 0.5 plus a little bit. So the answer there is 0 0.5987. Okay. And the same if we were looking at more than, we'd put a big number of 10,000 in here, and that would help us to find the answer. So it's just using the calculator, just make very sure that you get these the right way around. The biggest mistake in this is to put the mean as a standard deviation, and the standard deviation is the mean. And then you don't know it, it still can work it out, so you've got to check that one every single time that you get those the right way around. All right, just a little bit of work today. We'll see you later.